Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a Cambridge interview question and trust me this was very very difficult to crack. Okay. So here what they have given us is that root. We have a root and then we have 53 minus 10 root 6. Now this is very tricky because this is very difficult for us to imagine what is going wrong. Okay. In that case means no sorry what is going wrong no but basically see if you see 53 is a prime number right so this is prime and this has a root so there is nothing which we can take a common or something like that the only thing which we can actually think of solving is that your entire answer if you can you know literally simplify this in terms of a plus minus b the whole square then what happens is the root and the square will cancel so we'll try, we'll try to write this entire thing in terms of this particular format, okay. Now, see, let's look at 10, so because 53 is a prime number, so I can't do much on that, okay, but obviously 10 root 6, I can write 10 as nothing but what, we'll write it in terms of what they are prime factors, so we'll have 2 into 5 into this root 6 also can be written as root 2 into root 3. Okay. Understood. Now why am I doing this? Okay. Because if you see. See. If you have a plus minus b the whole square. Okay. When you expand this. You have something like this. a square plus minus 2 into a into b plus b square. So this 2 is very important. So that is why I tried to write everything in terms of their primes because when I wrote things in terms of their prime, I got my 2. Now, if you look closely, I can take this as the A and this as the B. Okay, so this looks like what 2AB. Okay, so now this has to be what A square and this has to be B square. Okay, now here you already the question had what there is a minus so here also we'll continue with this minus okay so if your a is nothing but what 5 root 2 the whole square okay and b is what root 3 the whole square okay so let's do this again write understand a b raised to m can be written as what a raised to m into b raised to m sorry b raised to m so if this can be written as what 5 squared that is 25 into root 2 square is nothing but just root just 2 okay and root 3 square is just 3 now like i said there is a plus sign here okay so when you add this so 25 into 2 gets you what 50 plus 3 gets you 53 and that, my dear friends, is the part of your question. Okay. Now, let's look one more other way around. If, if I had written 10 root 6 as nothing but what? 2 into 5 as your 10. Root 6, if I had written as root 3 into root 2. If things are satisfying in this scenario. So, this again, this becomes what? Minus 2. This is AB. So, here your a is nothing but what 5 root 3 the whole square, right? This is my a. And this is your b plus root 2 the whole square. So, again this, like I said, the indices will get separated when the things or bases are multiplied. So, 5 square gets you 25 into root 3 square gets you 3 minus 2 5 into 5 root 3 into root 2 plus root 2 square gets you 2. So 25 into 3 gets you what? 75 and plus 2. This is still what? 10 root 6 only, right? So 75 plus 2 gets you what? 77. So if, if your question had something like this, 77 minus 10 root 6, then this entire formation would have been fine. But since this is not your question, what is your question? Your question is nothing but what? Root of 53. 
minus 10 root 6. So in this case, this particular formation of A being 5 root 2, the whole square, and B being root 3 makes sense. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Students, please understand, there are many such questions. They are asked in interviews. Normally, they are just giving you these kind of questions to, you know, like literally scare you or literally, you know, throw you off guard. But trust me, if, if you could figure this out, if you knew that if this comes out to be something like this, if I have to put everything in this particular format, things will become very, very easy. This was just very basic thing which you need to remember. Okay. So, your, like I said, your A. So, let's go back. A is nothing but what? 5 root 2. So, I will say 5 root 2 minus B. B was your root 3. Okay. So, I will write minus root 3 the whole square. Now, let's try and do the expansion. So, this will become what? 5 root 2 the whole square minus 2 into 5 into root 2 into root 3 plus root 3 the whole square. So, now this becomes 5. 5 square is what? 25 into 2. Minus 2 into 5 gets you 10. Root 2 into root 3. Since both of them are coming under a root, you can directly multiply. So, you will get root 6. And then this root 3 square is nothing but 3. We have 25 into 2 that gets you 50 minus 10 root 6 plus 3. So now if you look closely, you can directly add 50 and 3. That gets you 53 minus 10 root 6. And that my dear friends is your answer. So now I can, like I can said that we will write everything in terms of under a root. So, if I put things under a root, what you get is 5 root 2 minus root 3 the whole square. Okay, and now obviously we know square and the square root will cancel. So, final answer, final answer for this one is nothing but what 5 root 2 minus root 3. You saw how easily we could figure this out. Okay, only you just had to remember that if you are putting things in terms of a raised to power 2, then things will become very, very easy. Okay, so students, if you have literally liked the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that literally gives me a lot of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget, I am daily uploading on my channel these kind of questions. This was actually uh, mailed me by one of my subscribers. So that's a big thank you and if you have any other doubts, please let me know so in the comment section or you can also email me. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.